Brian, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on your appointment as assistant manager. How are you feeling about it? Um, yeah, thank you first of all. Uh, excited, looking forward to the, the new challenge. Um, I've worked with Belly before in a previous role, uh, so I know how he works. Um, I've also worked with probably say 70% of the players at, at different stages of their journey. Um, so I think I can bring something to them and I know about the players and the strengths and weaknesses and think I can keep adding to improve and develop them as, as players and yeah, so looking forward to it. Obviously crew supporters know your name but they won't know a lot about you to them. You'll be a new kid on the block and you know a fairly quick rise up the ranks. Just tell us a little about about your journey, you know, as, as a player and, and your coaching uh, to this point. Yeah, so as a player, I never played professionally. Uh, played on the, the non-league circuit locally, so in Antwerp Town, Stafford Rangers, uh, Newcastle Towns. Um, I think I was 27 when I, I stopped playing, and I stopped playing because an opportunity of full-time coaching come up here at the football club uh, and I thought it was too good of an opportunity to, to turn down and to miss. Um, so I got into coaching full time at quite a young age really, um, working with the younger age groups uh, first and foremost in the foundation age and, and over the years I've, I've progressed through the age groups into leading YDP uh, and then more recently leading the under 18s. Uh, and now I've got the opportunity um, to work within the first team set up. That opportunity came, didn't it, in the summer after Alex Morris left and, and Lee Bell took his time over his appointment. You know he's done a, a lot of uh, soul searching and exploring different options. But when you were first brought in to help, was it on your mind that you could make the job yours or, or you know, how did you approach that? Um, no, I, in, in truth, I just came in and thought I'm, I'm just going to do the job that I would do, uh, whether I was appointed or, or not appointed um, permanently. And so my job coming in was to, to work with the players and try and improve the players and make them better and, and put them into a, uh, a system, if you like, and, and, and work on different things over the course of pre-season that they're going to try and implement into the, into the season moving forward. Um, it was something I, I always hoped, but I wasn't sure whether uh, it was it was going to happen or not. But at the time, I just did my best on what I thought the players needed. Now I thought I could help them um, moving forward, however long that was going to be for. It's um, it, it, is it a big difference? You know, when you first came into the first team setup, I know everyone's around the building, everyone knows each other. There's not different departments in that way, but working with the senior players. For those early first few weeks, you know, a couple of months it's been, how did you find it and, and, and did you enjoy it? Uh, I thought I settled in quickly again. It helped because I know a lot of the players, uh, what they're like personality wise is. I'd say that's the, probably the, the biggest challenge, um, dealing with different personalities of different players that have either come through here or come from elsewhere. Um, but they're a ter terrific group of lads, uh, welcomed me very quickly, uh, bought into the the different ideas that I was trying to bring forward, as well as the other other coaching staff. So I think it's been quite a smooth transition. So obviously you've known Lee for a long time. You've worked with him in this same um, scenario at under 18 level. What what works well about the partnership between you and him? Um, I think we understand each other and understand how each other work. Um, I understand moments on when I need to challenge him. Um, and I think he accepts that. Um, doesn't always necessarily mean he's going to go with my opinion, but I, I think striking that relationship and balance of that, that trust um, between, between your staff and, and being able to challenge at the right times and the right moments with different situations. Uh, we, we, we clicked very well at under-18s football and hopefully um, we can continue to work well in first-team environment. Yeah, I spoke to Lee about um, you know, your abilities, you know, full of praise on the tactical side and the, and the way you are with the players, but he was you know, keen to impress the, the idea that you, know, you will challenge him, you, you've got your own opinions and, and that's exactly what he wants, but there is a balance to be struck there, isn't it? But I suspect perhaps you, you know where that line is. Yeah, uh, again, it's, it's, a, it's a trust and it's a trust area, I think. I think it's no good somebody coming in and, and just being a yes man to him because um, that might not be the right thing for the players or, or, or for, the, for, for him as a member of staff. 
Um, but you've also got to respect and understand that he is the manager and, and his decision is the, the final decision. Um, but you've got to give him different ideas and different solutions uh, and challenge him, but challenge him in the right way, in the right manner. Uh, I think we worked well with that when we worked together at 18s and I'm sure we'll continue to do the same moving forward. And you've, uh, you've, you've, got, you've got the nod, you've, you've got the job, you've been doing it a while anyway, but now it's, uh, it's official and it's not long before the first game, is it? Your, your first uh, competitive game as a number two will be against Mansfield Town on the opening day of the season. And it's going to be a big test, isn't it? Yeah, really good test. Mansfield, uh, a really good outfit. We've watched a few of their games uh, that they've played in pre-season. They're always there or thereabouts. They've missed a couple of times in the playoffs in recent years. Uh, we know what they're going to bring. Uh, and hopefully uh, we can put into place what we've been working on in, in recent weeks and uh, get off to a, a good start, which everybody's hoping for. I know the preparation these days is forensic. We've just interrupted some of your preparation there. You've, you've come out to talk to us, but you look a lot into what Mansfield Town will bring. But I suppose a key focus really is on what Crew Alexandra can deliver. Yeah, absolutely. And it's one thing that, that Lee spoke to me about, um, having a clear identity and a way of playing. Um, that's something that I'm big on, on, on what it actually looks like with the players out there. We've done a lot of work with that. Uh, hopefully we can transfer that into the game on Saturday, uh, make them worry about us just as much as we need to worry about them um, and yeah, get off to a good start and hopefully three points. And it looks like pre-season's um, been successful in lots of different ways, in, in particular you more or less got everyone fit and, and ready to go but Charlie Colcott perhaps suffered a setback last time out at Barnsley, just bring us up to date with that. Yeah, Charlie's been really unfortunate. Um, last pre-season he broke down quite early, so missed the bulk of pre-season. So we've been trying to monitor his load throughout the course of this pre-season. Uh, we almost got to the final hurdle and he's had a, a little setback. Uh, nothing to, to worry about too much. Um, probably a couple of weeks for Charlie. Um, but everyone else other than that, we, we're, we're good to go. And just a little less than 48 hours to go. You know, how, how will you between now and then sort of uh, prepare? And will you be nervous, excited? Will you get some sleep on Friday night? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. If I'm being honest, uh, again, like I say, first game on the touchline where it, it means something. Um, but all my focus in the meantime will be doing what we can do for the players to make sure we're, we're preparing right and we're ready to go and ready to give it a good crack for this season.